Now today we're replacing this mechanical vacuum pump 2011 Audi S4. This is also applicable to many, many models within the Audi lineup. Here we go. Now the vacuum pump is attached to the engine with three fasteners, one at the two o'clock, two others below this vacuum hose. So I first need to remove this hose, but they're held on, or it's held on, by two Odorker or ear style clamps. Now you can purchase a tool that's made specifically for cutting these clamps, but it's pretty expensive. Chances are you have side cutters. To give me some extra leverage, a 21 and 22 millimeter socket, half inch drive, longer handle. You need the extra leverage. These are really, really tough to cut. Now, if you're doing this job and the hose looks okay to you, there's no need to remove this one. I'm going to replace it because since we're here, might as well use a nice fresh hose, but it's not required. Okay, now this comes off. So a little bit more leverage. And there we go. Okay. Now, I do have hose removal pliers, but I don't want to use them simply because... This car being 11 years old and 181,000 miles, I'm worried the plastic fitting will break and then I have to replace the whole line. I don't want to do that. So just have a pick, gently prying up. This is liquid wrench, WD-40, PB blaster, whatever you have, and just spraying a little bit. Okay. Now this is a T30 fastener. Now the other two fasteners are just too difficult to get on film, but here's the brand new part. So this one we just loosened. So we have one right here, another one right here. Now before I remove the other two fasteners, I can feel for them, but look how dirty everything is. So I'm spraying down the area with super clean. Okay, get all of that gunk off. And then I have a Q-tip. Again, soaked with super clean. This is really good stuff. It works very, very well. And I'm inserting the Q-tip into the head of the fastener. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to strip the fastener. Okay, get all, all of that crud out. Now, give yourself some time. This took me a good... 10 minutes just to get access to this last fastener. Very, very, very tight in here. And then this, just be gentle with your coolant line here, hold on. Okay, so there it is. So just double check that the new part matches up with the old. Do not forget a new gasket. It is not included when you buy the pump. So do not forget your gasket. And we'll just clean off the surface area, reinstall it, and start the vehicle. And if you look to make things a little bit easier, a nice ratcheting screwdriver. And as always, I'll have links of the tools listed in the description box below. Now, if you want to keep that factory look, you'll need an Odeker or ear style clamp set. This was $32 off Amazon. I'll have a link in the description box below in case you happen to need one of these. And I'm just loosely going to install these because I want to position them the right way on the car. But you just grab the pincer. Okay. Now I can rotate this to where I want it. Okay, that's it. Okay, so everything looks to be in good shape. I hope this helps a number of you out there, and as always, thank you for watching.